playing Warpath? Do you like it? Ronnie, at, at the moment, Warpath is a PDF download. Yeah. But, but I can't read that in the toilet. <laughs> so uh, when's it going to get a book? Okay, August. August when we're gonna, 2012? Yeah, August. Uh, so as you always know, with our major gaming systems, now when we do a board game, we can come straight out the box. Project yep. Pandora, Dwarf Kings hold. We do the tile, we do it. it it's, it's there. War games, proper mass combat war mm -hmm. games, you need to get a set of rules that work and are interesting and fun. You then need to keep adding armies that you've got to constantly balance. Yeah. And then eventually, I think you've built up enough that you can say, okay, there's a hardback rule book that's a complete yeah. gaming experience. And this year, we're going to be able to do that for Kings of War. But that's taken three years. Yeah. Booklet phase, um, you know, beta, open beta, booklet phase, then into, a, into the booklet, mm -hmm. the 56-page the, the book. And then this year, hardback book. Okay, so Warpath's getting the, the booklet then? the booklet 56 the page, is. it's going to have a whole load more army lists. Yep. So we'll have sculpted and out by August. We've got Forge Fathers, we've got the Orcs, we've got the Corporation, mm -hmm. and we've got the Vermin. Yep. We'll have, be well underway with the Plague and some of the other races all. So they're all going to get featured. Yep. So you've got a, a nice choice of armies and interesting army units. And... Um, we know we've got some upgrades planned for the actual rules as well, so it's going to become probably well a lot more exciting, a lot more dynamic. Well, at this point, it's March, so you're going to have this done by August. Oh yeah. What are you wasting time here for? <laughs> <laughs> You've a lot of work ahead of you. Got to get a lot all of this work done. Of us. Well, I, so ongoing chats with Alessio. He's just coming to the end of the finaling final pages on the Kings of War book. Right. And we'll talk about that later. But for Warpath, without the game mechanics, it works really nicely, but. What we're trying to do, kind of across the suite at Mantic at the moment, is open up tabletop wargaming, um, sci-fi and fantasy, just become a lot easier to get into. Yeah. There's some wonderful games out there. You know, we all know what they are. We've all played them. We all were there for years. <laughs> They're fantastic. But it's not an easy journey to get started. Yeah. And so, you know, kind of our mission at Mantic is free loop download rules. Yeah. And even though this is now a 56-page book, and even though Kings of War is going to be a 144-page hardback book, the core rules mm -hmm. are free to download yeah. from the website. So if you've got a pack And all of the army lists are and, as well. And, and all the army lists will be living on the website. Yeah. So they're absolutely going to be kept up to date. New unit mm -hmm. comes out, new army list comes up. Yeah. So it's really dynamic. So if you're playing with a mate and you've got a you know a couple of squads of, of, of you know whoever miniatures you've got even, mm -hmm. you can try Warpath, you can take it to your club and people can pass it around and have some fun with it. Yeah. Oh, I quite like that. Well the other major things with both Warpath two and Kings of War is we're gonna do the um the the, the, the one man battle box. Yeah. And what did you come up with? The Vanguard Vanguard game. <laughs> we're looking for a, for a name, but basically yeah. a force, the rules and the dice. Yeah. In a box for twenty nine ninety nine, forty nine yeah. ninety nine dollars. Yeah, enough enough to, enough enough you could spend your pocket money to to get started. I, well, I, yeah, for, a couple, you, for for a couple of weeks maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Save up for a couple yeah, of weeks and come, then get it. So. A, and you get a game. Yeah. I mean it's yeah. not gonna be ten figures for that. You're yeah. gonna get a, a full force. You're gonna yeah. get um twenty, thirty figures, a vehicle, a hero. It's gonna be it's gonna be a real well, knockout box. Well, well yeah, I mean, and things are progressing as well. We've got some of the Forge Fathers down the front there yeah. with the, the new uh, heavy weapon yeah. guy with, the, with, his, yeah, with his, uh, his, his missile launcher. Uh, you know, things are progressing. It's, it's, we're, no, we're no longer just a, a box of orcs and a box of, uh, a box of Forge Fathers at no, the moment. Absolutely. You know, it's, it's... A few plastic sets. And that's yeah. where, we've, you know, it's a, it's a long-term commitment yeah. from, from Mantic to Warpath. Uh, we've, we've come out with the, you know, the basic starter set. That gets a refresh, so mm -hmm. 56 pages. One of the big rule... And the exciting rule dynamics is, is going to be um, adding objectives into the game. Right. Now we've got a nice workable game system. We're going to have the four armies, and, and no system really feels alive until you've got four armies. You need yeah. the, the four choices, the four corners. That's there. You've got the rats, the horde army. You've got mm. the orcs up close and personal. Forge fathers, sham back and sh uh, you know, shoot heavy. Stand, stand back and shoot, and then you get well, you go in and fight them. You, then then you go in and fight them, and you find out they're devastating in hand to hand as well. Yeah. Okay. So okay. balance that, Ronnie. Well, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're they're seriously balanced, and the orcs have, have got a have got a big uh, major upgrade. But also, we're going to have this kind of deck system, uh -huh. counter system, where you will both take a card or a couple of cards. Um, it might be blow up the building. It might yeah. be set up the comms tower. It might be kill the opposition leader or destroy his tank or whatever. So it's going to be quite narrative. We're going to really, four or five units, mm -hmm. quite a narrative game, quite dynamic. Once you turn that card over, I've, I've got two objectives, kill your yeah, boss yeah. and destroy the tank. 
I've done them, I've achieved them, I've won. 50 victory points for each. So that's what Alessio is just finessing at the moment. Okay. But I think that's going to make the game really dynamic, really exciting and quite tactical. What's he doing? Um, we're also going to back that up. Every every counter will have a... Um, every card will have a count, will have a token yeah. 3D. So if you've got to plant the bomb mm -hmm. to blow up the building, there'll be a bomb. You keep it with the squad. Okay. If you've got the set the comms tower up, we'll actually have a comms tower that you'll be moving to put up on the hill. And you know, then the dynamic of what's happening on the battlefield is, yeah. is part of the bigger battle that you know you're kind of creating. So, okay, jolly exciting stuff. Well, so well, when are the Forge Fathers getting their, their so, tank? Yeah, <laughs> tanks are coming. What, what are we going to get? There's a dreadnought. There's a uh, dreadnought and the Iron Ancestor. Yep. So they've got their heavy there. So that by that point, you're going to have uh, upgrades to the veteran Storm Rage squad. We've got them actually. The Sukkur heavy weapon is coming. Yeah. You're also going to be able to take the heavy weapon part and uh, they've got platform mounted guns. Right. So they can have fixed uh, weapon points Excellent. with crew. Then they've got the Iron Ancestor, the Dreadnought, which is yeah. just awesome. It's going to have a couple of weapon options. And um, yeah, and then their tank is, is just a little bit behind <laughs> the Corporation one, but it's through the concept scale. Well, you see, I, I can't play my Forge Father's army at the moment because I need four of them. Need four tanks. <laughs> four okay, so four there tanks. you go. That's that's, that's an incentive. There's that's the first four. There's the first four. four uh, the first four sales. Four tanks and, and scrappers. Yeah, scrappers <laughs> on the way. That's it. Orcs are getting some upgrades to the Raptor. Uh, you know, yep. that's the the buggy, which yep. is a fantastic little kit. Really great. We're going to get some um, troop transport options on the back of that. All right. Yeah. Um, so well, that's pulling gonna, a trailer. <laughs> yeah. That's, so, well, orcs wouldn't actually sit in the back with them. They just hang on. So yeah. we're going to have. <laughs> um, yeah, kind of dismounted. So that, that's quite a funky piece. So all the armies are getting upgrades across yeah. the board. So while we're releasing new races, we're also mindful that the existing ones keep getting new stuff and, and, yeah. and allow people to keep expanding. Well, well, one of the things that you've, you uh, were telling us about earlier are the upgrade kits that you're doing for things like the, the Vermin. They're going to get uh, kits with, with new arms and things like that. Yeah. Um, uh, is that going to be the, 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 the idea across the board for things like, say, the Forge Fathers of the corporation, get them some new upgrade kits and uh, so it's, there's a quick turnaround to, yeah, to get more? So like the Storm Rage one is taking the five, mm -hmm. looking at how you use it as a 10-man squad and then yeah. putting out the weapons so there's a little bit of upgrades or, or a full metal figure to go with them. Yeah. Um, you know, with the, the Dracker room of full metal figures so that we can keep refreshing them. Obviously, over time, the long-term plan is everything in plastic across the yeah. board. Yeah. But that just takes time, and there's always competition. We've got Kings of War as well as yeah. as Warpath to keep supporting. So, um, you know, we've got to mix that plastic resource. That takes a little bit more time. So, however, getting that critical mass of, mm. of four armies, and then making sure that there each army has enough units that you can yeah. fight it how you need to be able to fight it. Yeah, and, and, and getting all the stuff out for the for the, the armies as well. All that super cool stuff. Yeah, that, that's in there. Well, and we're looking to you know we're working with a number of partners. I mean, there's there's quite a number of, of options now that we're yeah. starting to look at. But you know, with scenery on our website, you know, you can you can buy some scenery, mm -hmm. and we you know we've, we've got the avatars of War Berserkers because that completes out our Kings of War Dwarf army. Yeah. So we've we've got some quite open-minded approaches to how we're going to start adding you know more units, more vehicles, and and, and keep it growing. Excellent. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, so Warpath Two in August 2012. Um, watch out for it and watch out for some more upgrades and new kits for the existing armies for uh, Kings War, or for Warpath. Um, tell us what you want to see in Warpath. Drop some comments below. Tell us about it. Ronnie reads them. <laughs> he, he, he spends every night going through Beasts of War reading well, your comments. We'll, so. we'll read everything. It's not finished writing yet. <laughs> so uh, good ideas will get incorporated. There you go. Do. Okay, guys, so we'll get on. We'll talk about more Warpath soon. <laughs>